Who here loves fruit trees? They are pretty baller. If you can stand to wait the initial 28 days growth stage, they are pretty damn good. They produce fruit every day to a maximum of three. They only produce in their seasons, but if you're like me, I've planted them in my greenhouse. Ah, all those fruit trees. You see this pomegranate and peach tree? These guys have been the most profitable. Their base profit is 140, and their wine states sell for the most as the cakes multiply that number by either 3 or 4, depending if you have the artisan skill. Have these two trees been overthrown though? With patch 1.5, two new trees have been introduced, the mango and the banana tree. Let's see here, the mangoes sell for 130 base profit, Oh, close but no cigar. And bananas sell for 150 base profit. Look at that, the banana is the new king. And you can make wines with these guys as well. Now these two trees follow the same rules as all the other fruit trees. They take 28 days to grow and produce fruit in summer. If it's Ginger Island, they just keep producing because Ginger Island is always summer. Can't buy these at Pierre's because he's utterly useless, but there are a few ways you can get these. First up, both of these saplings can be found inside golden coconuts. They have a 1 in 7 chance for each one. Golden coconuts can be found by digging artifact spots on Ginger Island. They can also be found shaking a coconut tree. Do you want a demonstration? Exactly like that, noise and all. If that fails, then you can find normal coconuts instead by shaking these trees. Or visit the desert for coconuts. On Mondays, Sandy sells 10 of them. If you have 10 normal coconuts, you could do a trade. You can unlock this devilish looking island trader with 10 golden walnuts. He will also trade 10 coconuts for a single golden one. Speaking of the island trader, he will also trade 75 mussels for a single mango sapling. Luckily you can mine plenty of these on the ginger island beach. Or you can forage them from the mainland beach or even catch them in crab pots. The trader is kind of stingy with the banana saplings. He demands to trade 5 dragon teeth for a single banana sapling. Kind of dangerous in the volcano dungeon, but that's where you find them. There they are, right next to these giant dragon skeletons. <laughs> I guess dragons exist in this world. And finally, while you're in the volcano dungeon, you might as well kill the slimes in here for a rare chance that they drop the mango sapling as well. Good luck with that one. There is one mango recipe, and it's the mango sticky rice. It bumps up your defense by 3, and Leo sends you this recipe when you reach level 7 hearts with him. Cheers, little buddy! I'm not your buddy, guy. The bananas are a little more worthwhile. You can use them to make the banana pudding. Plus 1 to mining, luck, and defense. Not a bad buff. You buy this recipe from that shifty island trader. Bananas are also used to create the island obelisk which is used to warp to Ginger Island, effectively making Willy redundant and forcing him to re-enter his retirement and continue fishing. I'm pretty keen to get this obelisk as soon as I can, so that I can teleport quickly to the island, instead of having to make warp totems or pay Willy 1000 gold every time. Bananas have become the best tree in terms of raw profit, so if you're the person who wants to make more money, then I'd plant banana trees. Anyways, that does it for this video guys. I hope you learned something new and you grow some pretty awesome looking orchards with this. One for all and all for one. Cheers. Peace out.